this room has, you know, that, that appeal to the sense. So, you know, all those things to um, to look at, but also uh, the smell and the sound and the beautiful feel of, um, of silk in your hands. This is Eve de Castro Robinson, who's a composer, and she had this wonderful piece called Breathe. So the musical piece you can listen to, and she also chose the bust as kind of a contrast between this non-breathing object and the breathing of her composition. So you can actually sit down, I think it's about a four minute clip, where you can just hear this breathing sounds and the humming sound, which gets integrated with some other music. It's quite, quite an interesting. It's quite eerie, like it's, it's beautiful, but it's really quite quite like it raises the hairs in the back of your neck. Um, we commissioned Fleur de Mal to do a perfume for us, so it's called Costume to Say Goodbye to Wild and Impossible Hopes. And this perfume will be available for sale mm. as well. So it's quite a, I call it a medieval scene, but it's got a very long list of all sorts of oak moss and lavender and bourbon and jade and lime. So it's, it's kind of cool and hot at the same time. It's one of my favorite pieces, having a perfume as a costume because scent is a costume. And you wear it just like you wear clothes and it adjusts your mood and your being. It embraces everything that we wear to create an identity or where we feel at home and how we feel at home. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be clothes. It's all about your senses, how we, how we wear things and how we want to wear things. This is Sheridan Keith. It's a costume to inflict the locks of grandeur. It's basically an installation of an antique console with ballerina shoes. It's quite imposing, so it was all c constructed by Sheridan and objects that she had in her possession. Lovely thing about this piece is that we've hung an original dirt black above it, and this hat he's wearing is called an inspiration dispenser, which is a really nice uh, nice opening for the exhibition here, because that's what we uh, yeah, to do, is inspire people to um, think much more about what they wear. This one's called Costume in Which to Engage in the Murder Suicide of Self-Criticism. That piece is by Beatrice Carlson and that knife in there is extremely sharp. It is actually pushed through the heel of that shoe. Has anyone cut themselves on it? Uh, everyone who's handled it has managed to cut themselves on it, which is why we have it beautifully displayed here in a, a Perspex case to stop that happening to our curious visitors. <laughs> the paper costume is by Horst Kirchler. He's, um, he, he actually said it's not art, it's engineering. Uh, he formulates it on the computer and he creates the whole algorithm and then prints it out and folds it like a very big origami. It's quite fragile because it's made out of paper. It's fully made out of paper. He even engineered his own transport crate for it so that it, you can't really just pick it up by the waist and shift it around um, and he said it'll probably just be disassembled once the show is over because nobody's got a place to put a big paper plug. This is a costume uh, by Margo Barton and it's called uh, Costume to Face the World of the Commonplace and so this hat she's got here when it's closed you can uh, you can see out but when you allow it to fall, you get these lovely little windows that you can look out into the world as a commonplace. And inside the brim is gold, um, gold leaf. So you look at the world through these little windows over a golden floor. So it's a fantastic way, of course, to view the world.